Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Efreda, Washington. You can find our store at fabricpatch.net. So if you are a friend of our channel, you know that we have been on the Upper Mississippi River um, cruise doing a quilting cruise. And we are putting together a compilation of videos and photos for you for that. But we didn't want you to have to wait for our Paducah Quilt Museum tour. So we have that for you. And I just want to tell you that um, when I first started, I was going fairly quickly and I was just narrating through my iPhone. And I realized that for some of you, it might be your only opportunity to see those particular exhibits. So I did slow down and go in close to a lot of them. Uh, that does mean that the video is over an hour long, but um, I hope you enjoy it. And there's a lot of surprises along the way. So thanks for watching. Today was our tour of the Quilt Museum in Paducah.
All of these are Maggie Weiss. This one is applique on like a netting. See how you can see. Amazing. Your hand dyed up at the top. This is also hers. This one is called Santa. Santa, maybe? It's supposed to be healthy human cells. This is also Maggie Weiss. This is called Apple Blossom Dance. She certainly has a look, doesn't she? Machine quilted. And it's all fusible applique with intricate machine quilting around it. And she uses a variety of mediums, including a lot of organza. And this is her last one in her corner gallery. And this one is called Crocus. And again, you can see the organza overlays over the raw edge applique layers and machine quilting. Beautiful. This part of the exhibit is um, the 9-11 Never Forget. It's a series. This one obviously has photos and stories all printed. Oh, wow. uh, printed treasures done by Lisa Purdue. I never can stuff on these butterflies. Organza. Organza. Thank you, dear. Oh, witness is really this is the National Tribute Quilt. I'm gonna show you the length of it and then we'll kind of go up close, but it takes up this entire wall. And so all of the names from Flight 77, the names from Flight 175, from Flight 93, Flight 11. And all of the names. Firefighters. <laughs> and you can see that it is actually a cityscape. It's just. Uh, Amazing, and then the almost the ghost image of the twin towers in the in the side, made collectively by quilters around the nation, <coughs> and all of the names. Who's Danny Sarah? Are you looking oh. for someone? Take a picture of that or let's say. Yeah. yeah. Pretty amazing. And then this one is the Pentagon. Aaron Vernon. You just done that one, Sherry. Oh yeah. Yes. And again, it takes up the full wall. Isn't that amazing, Cindy? It, that is absolutely amazing. And then other quilts, we'll do close-ups of them. This one is called Headlines, and it's photo transfers of headlines from 9-11. 
children from around the world? Yes. Machine quilt is really very simple. These are the two quilts um, from the AIDS Memorial Foundation for the Never Forget um, exhibit. This one is Organza Leaves Falling, and then this one is Bunnies in the Shape of a Heart Falling. That one's called Innocent Blood. This one, Remembering Our Heroes from the United uh, Airlines Flight 175 Memorial Quilt. And this one is called Heroes and Victims. And then this one, beautiful sampler. This one is made by, it's called War Paint. And this is the Freedom Quilt Project. Beautiful, and that's a printed treasures eagle on the inside. Beautiful. Description. I'm going to continue around the corner. These hearts are all applique on. This one, I'm not sure if you can see this very well. It's called Broken Hearted. It's a quilted. This one is called The Stations of September 11. Requiem. This one is simply called Nine Eleven. Again, a lot of printed treasures and quilting. are born. And then over here, another one called 910, 911, 912, and beyond. This one is called Reflections. You can see the Twin Towers is gone, except in the reflection. This one too, fusible applique with quilting. Rewatched. Ooh, and that one is called Fragile. I'm not sure if it comes up very well, but there's a lot of crystals on this one of sprinkling. The images of the Twin Towers. I'm sorry, did I step right in your shot? Okay, we're going to go up. It's just the front door where we came in. I kind of bypassed. I'm going to come back and come over to this one. This one, um, Jan Hutchinson from Sedgwick, Kansas, Gail and Gail Stepanek from New Lenox, Illinois. It's called Mistaken Identity. This is absolutely gorgeous. So we can do some close-ups. All oh, just very intricate, obviously hand-guided machine quilting on it with very intricate hand applique. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put my hand up just for reference so you can see the size of those blocks. No, I didn't touch the quilt. <laughs> it is stunning. Man, that's amazing. I'm gonna come over and take a picture so you can read. Oh my goodness. And that is that one. And then, this is 
Diane Franzen in front of us. This one is called Fear of the Dark by Mary Hackett of Canterville, Illinois. That is amazing. It's so sparkly. It's beautiful. Tones of black, little um, crazy log cabin blocks with little bits of white. It's beautiful. She has a little bit of um, machine quilting kind of embroidery on top, but see the pink is machine embroidery on there. And see that red? Oh yeah, it comes through really good in the yellow. Beautiful. This one, oh, from Port Angeles, Washington, Karen Sistick. And Nancy Martin from Owensbury, Kentucky. Yeah. Like that. I mean, this is beautiful. So there's obviously fusible web piece um, applique, and then the machine quilting on this. Is this Again, machine? Uh, machine quilting, all hand guided. Yes, by hand. Yeah, this is stunning. So what's done by hand? Uh, the machine quilting. What she does is, um, with her machine, she moves the machine. So all of this is all hand, and all of these lines, mm -hmm. it's by machine, but she's guiding the machine, guiding the fabric. But this is hand. No, it That's is machine, machine quilted. Too. All of it is machine quilted by hand, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's her own personal doodling. Yes. <laughs> Brianna, um, yeah, yeah, right, right. It is A lot of these are machine quilted. Yes. Yeah, there's a ton on that back side that are all hand quilted. Which ones are hand quilted? Um, a lot of the miniature ones are hand quilted. Oh, it's, it's like a stitch. This is, I hope this is coming up in the... It's amazing. This is gorgeous. And of course, here's Brianna giving a personalized tour. <laughs> When you first walk in the door. Robert. And then as we look across, again, this was the front entrance. You can see some of these just, um, all of them, there's side little rooms. So here's the, oh wow, we haven't been there yet. Quarantine quilts, we haven't been there yet. The corner gallery, those were the ones we saw with the organza. And then through that doorway back there was where the 9-11 quilts are. So to look at the rest of these, oh, I hope you're not getting dizzy, up close, this one also, Beautiful, looks like it's fused, and then, oh, the tiniest. Again, I'm gonna put my hand up just for reference. Look at the size of that stipple. Isn't that just amazing? It's just, I'm gonna go up close, and then we'll come out so you can see it, but this has got to be, this is called Sun Bathing Blue Tit 2003 from France and my guess is that she probably um, hand painted the fabric because I'm not sure that no totally different person because uh, I don't know how you're going to get that kind of texture and color and that's all one piece of fabric fused down and then again all of the texture with the machine quilting oh my gosh it's just Stunning, I'll come out so you can see the whole thing. Isn't it beautiful? And it's large. What does it say that is? Um, 66 by 80. So yeah, it's a big, beautiful quilt. This one is by Judy Warren Bladen from Milford, Michigan. It's called The Mountain and the Magic Nightlights 1995. Beautiful. There's a lot of sparkles. There's beads, hand sewn beads up at the top, and hand quilting. Oh, a lot of hand quilting and machine quilting. It's a mixture. She says they are visual, her quilts are visual diaries of what she loves. Beautiful. This one over here, again, another large one. This one is 66 by 63. It's called Tumbling Blocks, 2016. And it's by Geraldine Warner from Wenatchee, Washington. Brianna. Oh, well, that's fun. That's fantastic.
fantastic. I know Geraldine Warner. That is amazing. Beautiful. I'm guessing there's some fabric patch fabrics in here. Machine quilting is truly amazing. This one is from Wenatchee, which is uh, 30 miles from me. Really? Yeah, I know this woman. It's beautiful. This is Teresa and her husband. <laughs> She's with our group. And then this is, let's see, I might turn this off so that I don't make you dizzy. Oh, wait, let's come and see what this one is. This one is called Every Cloud Has a Silver Lining by Susan Stewart from Pittsburgh, Kansas. Oh, my goodness gracious. This quilt is 85 by 85. It is silk. Oh, gosh. It is silk. A little bit of organza. And, gosh, the quilting. A lot of it is digitized machine embroidery and machine quilting. Look at the, and that is a silver metallic thread. Oh my goodness. So here's the embroidery. This is all um, Trapunto quilting around machine embroidered flowers and leaves. Three dimensional butterflies that are just out of thread and lifting off. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness. And this is lace. It is thread work lace. And you can see the, um, it, it's see through. So there's no backing behind. That's the wall back behind that. Oh, I just don't know if the camera is doing justice to this. Wow. Beautiful. There's more of that same lace. And you can see that it's just even the machine, I mean the yeah, machine embroidery. Boy, that took a while. This is huge. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. This is the quarantine quilts exhibit. And so the first one here is called Social Distancing. And it is Looks like the medium is um, painting over the top of a newsprint and then some machine quilting. This one right here is called The Spark <laughs> and it's about the fear and everything that's happening and you can see there's a lot of handwork on this one. She has stitched down everything. Straws, where's the straw? Straws. Coins, charms, a watch, all kinds of things, plastic, amazing. I don't know, I guess, I think these are little discs of plastic that she's cut up and it's turned into buttons. I'm gonna come around the corner. This one is called Crown and Glory by Linda Martin. And up close again, it's kind of a collage. So all little bits of fabric that have been fused on top of each other. And then she has a lot of machine quilting. So you can see up close, it's just tiny little. This one is called Shattering, oh, shelter, <laughs> sheltering in place, sheltering in place by Jan Sewells. Doesn't tell us where she's from. Now, I would have thought that quarantine quilts would have been things that we finished while under quarantine, but these are not. This is really things that are specific 
in response to the quarantine. This one is Teresa Berkeley. It's called Stay in Touch. This one is by a quilter in Canada, Nicole Schur, and it's called A Way Through. Oh, this one is beautifully, intricately machine quilted. Let me go up close for you first. It's by Patty Pasteur, and it's called There Was One Left. Oh, there's some bathroom tissue. I got you. That's hilarious. This one over here. It says, Whatever You Do is the name of this quilt by Gina Gallard McCollard. You can see it's all machine piece and mostly hand quilted. Some close ups of it, and then she's got some hand embroidery. So focus, be brave. Oh, there's another collage one. Let me come out there so you can see it better. This is by Maggie Ward. It's called Sun Salutation. Oh, it's on a beautiful piece of silk is her background. And again, it's just, not just, it's collage. Lots of gorgeous um, cave faucet fabrics. I think almost all of them are, it looks like. Oh, and up here, this is beautiful. She has little bits of organza in there and some hand embroidery. Gorgeous. This was the back. Oh, no, it wasn't. This one is called Exhaustion by Libby in Elverton, Pennsylvania. Gosh, look at that. So it's a little, oh, I see. It's a little like a see-through. We can, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we can see through to the other side. It's a little organs and there's little bits of things in there. Beautiful. Hmm. This one is also by Geraldine Warner, and it's called In Nature's Realm. Stunning, and it's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Also, looks like it's out of silk. Maybe also some raw silk and beautifully machine quilted. I'm sure that's all hand guided. Gorgeous. Oh, this is very cool. It's called The Owl by Susan Hirbach, I think is what that says. Doesn't tell me where she's from. Look at the face. So it is machine pieced, machine quilted, all little triangles. Everything in there is a triangle. That's amazing. Started as a gift from a col uh, for a colleague. The story about it. Let's see, I'm gonna come over without making you dizzy and I'll come back and show you up close. This one is co called COVID 19 and 30 by Karen Fair. This one is called Coronavirus. And it's by Susan Hoppenworth. This one, something wicked this way comes. Hmm. That's interesting. Looks like it's all a bunch of Northcott fabrics. Oh, and look at the coronavirus making its way up the steps. And the gate is unlocked. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? It's beautiful. Beautiful. That's by Kathy Menzi. Oh, that is gorgeous. So this is. I don't have my glasses on to tell. I feel fairly certain that is hand embroidered. Let me read. Hmm. That's beautiful. It's by Marka 
Pineda. It's called Homestead. Look up here at the detail. That's pretty amazing. It's all hand embroidered up there. Right up here. Some little seed stitch in the clouds. All hand done. Beautiful. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. This one is called Viral Spica Number no. 3 by Heather Prager. This one is called Drawing and Breath. Drawing a Breath, did I say that right? By Wen Richmond. Beautiful. If you look up close, you can see again a lot of organza. There's kind of a lot of organza overlay. It's a little different with some quilting on it, a lot underneath. This one is interesting. This one is called, gosh, look at that. It's called Shelter in Place by Kay Braun. Let me come up close so you can see how she did that. Fusible applique with a lot of intense small machine quilting and again just for reference and for my hand up so you can see the size of those pieces that's pretty amazing isn't it a lot of machine quilting K Dongus K Browning uh, Dongus does that say? This is called Wash Your Hands by Hope Wilmarth. Oh, I see it. Wash Your Hands. Oh, that's funny. Back to the back so you can see it and we'll go up close. So she's done it in ink all along here. Huh machine quilted and then fusible applique very artistic that's pretty amazing it doesn't say where she's from that's pretty cool this one i feel like it says something what does that one say oh it says covid19 ha i see it let's go back huh Pretty large. This one is called What You Cannot See by Roderick Ferry. It's just two pieces of fabric, all machine pieced and machine quilted. That was a lot of graphing to get that. This one called Continuum by Carolyn Mesa Burton. Let me come out first so you can see. That's pretty cool. Close. Um, machine paste, <laughs> machine quilted, tiny, tiny little lines. It's amazing. Beautiful work, beautiful fabrics. And up here, some really cool pieces. I could get a gap again. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this one is really beautiful. I think it's called Concertino. Let me look up close again. Concertino, yep, by, oh, by Katie Pasquina Massapust. I know that person. Beautiful. And look at all of the detail there for the tiny little strips. Again, I'm just gonna put my hand up so you can see the size. Look at that. <laughs> tiny, tiny. Intricate quilting. Look at her quilting. Pretty amazing. Really amazing. It's nice to see that she's still beautiful. I'll come back out again so you can see. It's pretty amazing that all of the texture you see is all what she has created. And piecing all of that. I can't quite reach all the way up, but the biggest piece. Well, and that's even pieced. 
Do you see that? Those two purples, they're pieced. And the blue, those circles are appliqued on top of that. That's not, that's not printed fabric. I'm going to come back out. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This one is called Pandemonium by Larry Van Eck. Huh. Beautiful. Same idea, really. It's all small pieces put together and machine quilted. All of this, just tiny little modern blocks, all solids. Tiny little pieces, machine quilted to make this beautiful quilt. And that quilt is probably about a 40 by 60. It's the size of that one. This one is quite a bit, oh, that's beautiful. That's about probably 30 by 30. And it says, you had the power all along, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. It's called The Power in Me by Denise Va Vulcan. It's the story about it. And oh, look at the little, she has some Swarovski crystals on there. Beautiful. And this is actually hand appliqued. It looks like it's fusel, but it is not. This is all hand appliqued pieces down and then machine quilting on top. And her machine quilting on the flowers is pretty intense. Looks like she's probably got a double layer of batting. She's probably got cotton and then polyester on the top, which you know, if you can see the texture that's created with all of that polyester batting doing that, isn't that amazing? Beautiful, beautiful. Are you video videoing? I am making a little video for our people who couldn't come with us, trying to provide a little bit of a narrative. This one is called um, The Ripple Effect Coronavirus. It's pretty cool also. It looks like it's hand appliqued with all kinds of machine, and I mean hand embroidery on top of it. Pretty interesting, it's tiny. It's probably about a 24 by 24. And it's by Amy Simmons, maybe? Let me just show you her little placard. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into the back room back here. Say hi, Sydney, this is Sydney. Hi. <laughs> this one is another exhibit by Denise, um, maybe it's Labody, uh, it's called Storn Stone Portraits and sacred stonescapes. So we'll go through these. You can see what she does is, this is the picture, this is the actual photograph of the friary wall. And this is her fabric quilted rendition. We're gonna come over here. This one is a cathedral window. You can see this is the picture. And here is her quilted rendition. This one, oh, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. This is called the Ring of Brodgar. That's gorgeous. And that was the actual picture. This one over here, turn the corner. Beautiful. This one is called Aircua Stone Row. Isn't that funny? That's like amazing. Beautiful. Um, let's go back. But on the other side, I was going the wrong way. This one is called Passage at Noth. I'm sure I would walk in there. Isn't that amazing? She can get that depth. And this one. Mm. Gosh, 
You know, it does look like, let's come in closer. It does look like she actually adds a little bit of color, you know, where she needs to for dimension. But other than that, it truly, it's all appliqued pieces. And she just knows exactly where to put them. And she also has so much um, texture in her quilting. You can see she also adds um, threads, special threads. Some more signed. We'll come back out. This one is Anna Marie uh, Court Tomb. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. This one, mm. isn't that amazing? All out of fabric. Wow. Again, I'll show you the picture. called up or down oh that's funny it could be up or down couldn't it wow hmm that's funny that's beautiful come back to those oh beautiful this one doesn't have a picture next to it oh gosh gorgeous Cathedral arch. Yeah, this one over here. Oh, gosh. I'm going to turn the corner. This one is Omi Island. Dolman. Look at the picture. I'm going to let the glare for you. Let's see. Look at the picture again. Such an artist. This one is called Iran Stone Circle. And again, oh my gosh. I can just. Pretty amazing. This one is called. What is that called? Bonnemarie Friary. Oh, what a beautiful picture. That's the photo. And that is the quilt. And then these are some more gals from Margie, Nancy, wave at the YouTube people. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Nancy, I am, yeah. 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 A moving picture. Yes. <laughs> and this is Nancy. This is the loud Nancy. Yes. And say hi. What's the boyfriend's name? Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. She misses you so much. Have you found all your snacks? <laughs> <laughs> so we have loud Nancy and quiet Nancy and March. <laughs> so where is this going? Uh, this is going to go. The display is called So Many Quilts and it's celebrating 30 years. So I'm going to spin around kind of quickly and look at this first one here. This is by Kiko Minami from Japan. It's called The Charm of Small Pink Roses. And I'm going to come up close. This is like amazing. So this one, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Look at the, the geometry of the piecing, and then there's all of the hand applique on top, and all hand quilted, which is kind of typical for Japan. All that, and look at that tiny binding. I'm going to put my finger up here. Look at that binding. I don't even know how that happens. That's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just gorgeous. And look at the border. All just little diamonds, diamonds and triangles. The next one over here, oh, this nice little Celtic. Dang, wait, let me come out first so you can see the whole thing. Oh. This one is Renaissance Revival. This one's from Australia. Dang it. And look at that. There's a tiny little bit of metallic thread in there. 
machine pulpit. Again, I put my hand up just for reference. So you can see, let me get my hand down there. See the size of that flower? Isn't that amazing? And yeah, that's all. Dang it. That's just all applique. I can't tell if it's hand applique or machine because of all of that gold thread. But I'll give you again just a little attention to detail. And again, that looks big, but I'm going to put my hand up there. That is tiny. That flower is the size of my fingernail. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny. I can't even imagine how long that took. I'm going to come back again. That just... Just, and it's humongous, just super huge. Okay, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna spin around. Whoop, the little quad panel quilt here. This is beautiful. This one is called The Four Year Term by Alison Muir, also from Australia. She's got some layers of organza, some metallic organza, and then some kind of just machine quilted on there. There's no binding. I mean, it's just finished. It just is finished with an edge. It's different, very cool. Very cool. It's beautiful. You can see too why you would wanna keep going the way she did the and it's huge it's really large it takes up gosh that's got to be 120 inches and probably six in, 60 inches in length I mean in yeah height I guess oh can you see that those are some swans birds of a different color oh there's one too three fours or five in there oh my goodness dang amazing. Oh, oh, this is by um, Carol Breyer F uh, Fallert from Port Townsend. Oh, I know who that is. She, of course, doesn't know me, but dang, that's gorgeous. Beautiful. We'll come up close. She's really the color goddess, obviously. Dang. Ooh. Yeah. Beautiful. This one is called Air Show. It is by Jonathan Shannon from Phoenix, Arizona. He made this in 1992. I should have mentioned Carol made hers in 1999. And look at all around the outside. They're tiny little. Oops, I'm going to move my camera. Friendship blocks inside of star blocks. And these are small. Those are probably oh, four inch blocks. Isn't that cool? Let's see. And then all of those planes are hand applique on top. Beautiful. That one's humongous too. That's probably 90 by 90. This one is called Petroglyph. It is by Patricia Styring from St. Augustine, Florida. She made this in 1997. Hmm. And these are hand appliqued on here. She's got some beautiful machine quilting over the top of it. Gosh, it's fantastic. All of the petroglyphs around it. Hmm. That's amazing. 
beautiful. Oh, and look up close. Can you see? There's, those are all hand appliqued. So there's the dark ones, uh, hand appliqued on top of the lighter. And again, all machine quilted. So that's just amazing. It has kind of an aboriginal. Huh. Fantastic, even some 3D prairie points right there. Oh, fantastic. Hmm, these are some fun photos about Quilting Camp, National Quilting Day, Friends Reception, Volunteers, with the artists. Oops. Kind of cool. Little photo wall. Well, the behind me here. This one is called Feathered Friends. made by Carolyn Johnson and Wilma Johnson from Kentucky. Oh, this is a fun story. Let's read this. The museum founders originally purchased this quilt for their family. Huh. That's cool. Looks like it was maybe part of a quilt guild. All of them are named on there. All, um, Hand embroidered. There's one on that one. Huh. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna come over here to the back side. This one is called Mother's Day. It was made by Suzanne Marshall from Clayton, Missouri hand appliqued, really, in just, there's the two colors and then the one color background. All silhouette style, reverse applique. Oh, no, it's not reverse, oh yeah, it is. Reverse applique. She made this in 2001. Beautiful. Really, really nice work. And hand quilted, that's how it's finished. We're gonna come across over here. Oh, man, let's stop for a minute. This one is called The Other Side of Silence. Wow, look at, there's Swarovski crystals on there. Metallic thread on there, beads. Some hand embroidery. Some machine quilting. And I can't tell because of the stitching around it, I can't tell if it's hand applique, fusible applique, or machine applique. Lots of sparkly fabric. This gray is actually kind of a metallic fabric. I don't know if you can tell that or not. It's by made by David Walker from Cincinnati, Ohio in 1989, donated to the museum in 2010. Huh, that's pretty amazing. This one is called Red Squared. Isn't that one beautiful? This one is probably about a 64 by 64. It was made in 1992 by Judith Larzellery from Westerly, Rhode Island. All um, machine pieced, and if there's any quilting, I can't see it. I'm assuming it might, um, it's probably stitched in the ditch. There's no other visible quilting that I can see on it. Beautiful, that's a lot of you know what's amazing is to make something like that, how did she get it flat, right? Because look at all of that. That is a flat quilt and square. Pretty amazing. This one is called Cellular Structure 5. And this is by Sue Benner from Dallas, Texas. Oh, here, let me go back. 
make it a little easier for you to see the whole thing. Oh my goodness. This one was made in 2007. Really much of it is um, fabric and it's applique, like those circles are all applique on top of it. And then the rest of it, it's really done from, um, it looks like machine quilting with thread changes to be able to get the texture that she wants. But a lot of fusible applique, lots of different threads. That's all just thread work on about three different fabrics for that center one there. amazing. Pretty cool. This one is also from Japan. It's made by Keiko Marihu and it's called For the Wedding of My Daughter. And this one also kind of very typical Japanese. If you look at this up close, you can see that all hand applique perfect circles, hand applique pieces, and hand quilted. And look at the how she selected that fabric and cut it perfect. That is um, one fabric with the stripe right there on the little circles. I'm gonna put my hand up just so you can see the size of those circles. This quilt is humongous. It's probably, oh, look, look at the stars before we go back out. Again, hand appliqued, hand quilted. She's probably got a layer of cotton in my guess. She's probably got a little layer of polyester too because it almost has a real do you see the trapunto effect there from the quilting and the design? It's just amazing, all in topes. And it's huge. It's probably, I'm going to guess it's probably 120 by 100. And I don't know if we showed you the medallion very well. We'll go back in. Again, see, all hand, uh, hand applique. Oh. I wish it told us more about it, maybe how long it took her. I wouldn't be able to complete something like this in a lifetime. And again, I'm gonna put my hand up just so you can see the size of those pieces. There's my hand. Isn't that amazing? Smaller than a fingernail. Crazy, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then next to it, Gosh, this has kind of an 80s vibe, doesn't it? Made in 1995 by Betty Solter from Racine, Wisconsin. Oh, gorgeous. Hand appliqued, hand quilted. Mauves, burgundies, and blues. Just beautiful. You know, I think of all of the fabrics that we see that have this kind of printing and the fabrics printed and this was all created with all of those shades of brown, shades of taupe. And again, hand quilting, look at that. It's tiny, tiny, put my hand up here again, right? Crazy, well, crazy in a good way. Amazing, stunning, tiny, tiny little and quilting stitches. Super talent, super crazy talent. We're gonna come back out this way. That's near our front door. We have a couple other large ones in the main area that we wanna show. And again, just so you can get an idea, you think of it as being really large in here, and it is a large space, but there's not as many quilts. As, well, there's a lot of quilts. It takes a while to see it all, but um, it's not as big as you think that. I'm at one end. And then those, that's where the other exhibits are. So we'll come back and look at the main ones out in this front where they have been pictured. We'll come up close. I might have missed this one in the quarantine quilts. I did. This one is called Chaos and Uncertainty. That's pretty cool, isn't it? This is made by Victoria Wolf. A lot of hand applique, machine quilting. Pretty cool, pretty cool use of fabric. Oh, and I love, 
uneven edge. That's pretty, pretty modern. Fantastic. She does that down at the bottom too. She's gonna fully done. We're just gonna pan around, hopefully slowly. And, oh, I love this one. This one is called Endangered, the lemur's tail. We'll come up close, but, and again, just for size reference, this one is probably about, oh, 60 by 70 would be my guess. I'll look up and see for sure, but, oh my goodness, the outside, uh, man, I can't tell if that's silk fabric or if it just looks like that because it is so densely quilted that what you're seeing, let me see if I can see the size of that. What you're seeing right there is thread. That's actually a solid black fabric, but that gray right there is quilting. That's like amazing. And she has, what she has, what you're seeing up close here is the tree. I'm going to pan back again so you can see it. It's a tree that goes all the way up. And then that border, she made it look like a lemur tail. And then the tree goes all the way over. That looks like that is painted. Um, and this is all thread painting. Look at the texture there. Man, the amount of talent is just crazy. Beautiful. Oh, and look at the texture of the tree. And again, that tree goes all the way around. More of the lemur tail. And look at up close. The texture of that. Isn't that beautiful? All thread. All thread on top of the background. We're gonna come back up to the wood. And the textures. So there's some hand applique on top of that, just to get all of those colors. And then all of the textures are the machine quilting. And again, look at the, the size of the... But she's got an elephant, that's the one that I'm thinking of talking about. She's got an elephant, and you just take strips of fabric and just start... And there's some little texture on the tail there. Texture on the tail there. They're crazy. Let's go over here. This is by. Tells us about it. Who quilted it? Who did the painting? Beautiful. Oh, 62 by 72. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've seen, I feel like I've seen this one before. Oh, yeah. This is from Quebec, Canada. Lise Belanger. Beautiful. Batik fabric. There's linen fabric in here. This belongs to the permanent collection here at the museum. There's raw edge applique. It is 36 by 48. And if you look here, she's got, that almost looks, this almost looks like reverse applique, but it is not. All of that is done with thread. All of those plumes and that's all just thread work. Not just, that's thread painting. It's amazing. We go up close, you can see that. Just done with different stitches and different weights of threads to create that. Ugh. I'm gonna go back out, you'll see that dimension. And all of these beautiful batiks. Raw edge, but all stitched down. This is just an amazing amount of talent. Look at the eye. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, I'm just going to go ahead and come back out a little bit. 36 by 48 is the size of it. Beautiful. And then I think there's only four more to show you. Oh. This one is by Chris Vieira, Lincoln, Nebraska. It's called Tiger Tiger. It is 67 by 79. She made it in 2015. 
yourself. And there are, supposedly, there are 16 tigers. I see one. I see the big one that's leaping off of the quilt. Look at that little 3D effect. Isn't that fantastic? There's an obvious favorite here. And then look at all of the texture with the machine quilting. Oh, I see one there. See that one? and lots of texture. The leaves. Hand applique machine quilted. Oh, that's just amazing. I'm gonna come back and See if I can find 16. How many have I found? Five. Hmm. Oh, I see a couple. Oh, there's woods. Ha. Ah. See that one? Tiger. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. Well, I still haven't found 16, but. Oh, there's a word. Huh. Fantastic. I'm going to turn the corner. I'm going to go ahead and come back out. You can really see the size of it. This one is another one from Japan. So again, what you're going to see is stunning uh, hand applique and hand quilting. This one is large. It is 81 by 90. It was made in um, 2018. What's unique, though, is that it's these 30s fabrics, which you don't see a lot in the works from Japan. But look at the tiny hand quilting stitches. Isn't that amazing? And the hand applique is just... And I'm going to put my hand up so you can see. Look at the size of those perfect little circles. And it goes all the way up. And then over here, she's got a mixture of, there are some little blossoms. Beautiful. And again, I'm gonna put my hand up so you can see. That's the size of that. All hand, in, uh, hand quilted behind it. And then she's got these. Beautiful, just beautiful, humongous. Oh, and oh, some of them hold the phone. These are not all the same. They're all different. Look at that. Hmm. There's a whole, oh, look at that. Just such talent. Just amazing. Hmm. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> there it is. Look at that one. Little butterfly. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Beautiful. All right, we're going to come around here. Another humongous one. Probably about the same. I'm going to say that that's about 80 by 90. Paper piece would be my guess made by Chris Vieira from Lincoln, Nebraska. We saw another one from her. And, um, gosh, look at the quilting, machine quilted. All the butterflies in there. Isn't it funny that that makes? So much to look at. Okay, we're gonna come back out. Okay, I thought we had these last two big ones out in front and, oh wow, um, there are miniature pieces over here. So just when you thought you were gonna be done, 
We're gonna dash in there for a few minutes, but first this one is called Peach Pear Plum. It was made um, in the UK by Elizabeth Brimclaw. Oh, beautiful. There's some organza leaves on there. And it looks like it's on silk. Of course, I can't touch it, so I'm not entirely sure. And it really looks like raw edge applique. Beautiful. Just a beautiful design. I love the shape of it. And then this one is called mm -hmm. Things Fall Apart. It was made in Fort Walton Beach, Florida by Eleanor McCain. almost looks like that's kind of a cool effect it's like bleeding fabric but it looks beautiful hmm. it's really tall really big okay we're gonna come around in here to the miniatures okay so first I'm just gonna pan around to show you the majority of them on the wall are about a 12 inch block those three there are probably about 20 inches long those over there are probably about 16 inch squares. Those 16 and probably that pineapple is probably a 12 inch. And these also. So I might be putting my hand up so you can see them, but all of them are tiny. In fact, let's start over here. This one is called There and Back Again. Oh my goodness gracious. 14 by 14. And even the outside edge is pieced. That's crazy. Like, amazing. Look at the size of that block. There's like eighth inch finished pieces. This one was, um, is called Freedom Stars. And again, teeny teeny tiny. I'm gonna put my little hand up there. Super small by Pat Coons, it's 14 by 14. This one is called Tulip Star, 17 inch square by Lynn Taylor. Tiny, 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 tiny little applique. Oh, this one is 12 by 12 made by Jane Hall in 2006. And again, let me put a little hand up. <laughs> I don't know that I could even hold on to that. Little pineapple block. Beautiful. These two are both by Kathy Boyd. It's Amish style. This is the Diamond Square 2. And this one is called Bars, hand quilted. This one is called Synthesized Slivers by Cassandra Ireland Beaver. It's a 22 by 19 made in 2018. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can even hold on to these. Let's look at the whole thing. This one is 18 inch square made by Charlotte Huber. It's called Hawaiian Holiday. And these are probably four, and well, they've gotta be three inch blocks. Look at the size of that flower and that bud. Hand quilted. This one by Robin Grausbeck. Oh, looks like it's all done with thread. A little bit of fabric. Beautiful, 16 by 16. I'm gonna go a little faster because my phone says that the battery is dying. So I don't wanna suddenly blurb out. 
This one is called Bias Miniature by Sharon Norbutis. Um, that pineapple right there was by George Ann Roy Smith. We're gonna come across. Oak leaf with cherry, oh my gosh, with cherries. Look at the size of those, there's my hand. Hand quilted, 15 by 15 by Deborah White. This one, Idlewood Rose by June Kempson. And again, so you can tell, that's the size of those. So there's close, a lot of hand embroidery on top of that. By Deborah White also, 17 by 17, La Fleur de Belle. This one's called Rose Splendor by Jane Hollihan, 17 by 17. Beautiful with some hand embroidery on there. Hand quilted. Look at the pattern she's hand quilted in there. And turn the corner. These are all by Rebecca Schaefer. Oh, beautiful. There was Ohio Stars, Houses, Drunkard's Path, Pine Trees. Beautiful. Miniature Primrose Lane. Beautiful. Look at the little log cabin blocks again. I'm just gonna put my hand up for reference. Hand embroidered. Tiny little flying geese. Lord. Flower pot in a cottage garden by Judith Day. Hand applique, hand quilted. Mm. Dancing at Netherfield by also by Judith Daly, 22 by 22. So she's got all these little English paper pieced. Grandmother's flower garden blocks. Look at the border. Dang. Oh, and that looks like it's a whole cloth quilt that's hand quilted. But by whole cloth quilt, I mean tiny piece of fabric. These are all by Doris McManus. And they're all 12 by 12s. This one is called Leopards. This one is called Birds on a Wire. Red. And Bunnies Over the Moon. <laughs> That's cute. This one is called Violet Calm. It's a 20 by 20 intricate machine quilting. And these are also by Doris McManus. This one is called Dee's Log Cabin. This one is called Tropical Leaves Number Two. Let me go up close on that one. There's a lot of hand embroidery and raw edge applique. Pretty cool. Oh, that's cute. This one is called Cupcake Papers. Oh, it's made out of cupcake papers. Oh, dang it. That's cool. There's a real candle in there. Huh, that's fun. Um, this one is called Japanese Papers. I guess there is some paper up there. That's cool. Went down there. Obviously on the side there. And this one is called Embellishments. That, if you can't tell, is that, um, what's that rigid cardstock, you know? Buttons, beautiful. And then this one is a whole cloth hand quilted. It's only 20 by 20, but so you can imagine. Right, beautiful. By Trudy Wesson. And then in this little display, <laughs> These are tiny. Look at those. 
itty 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 bitty on these little doll beds. Isn't that just amazing? We put our nine inches by eleven inches. Come up here for these. All right. I think that's it. My husband was sitting on that. Oh, there he is. My devoted husband sitting out there waiting on me. Bless his little heart. <laughs> I don't know what he's reading. <laughs> and that's it. This was our tour of the Quilt Museum in Paducah. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.